right now, most of your tomato foliage probably looks like these suckers that I just took off of our better bush tomato plants. Nice and deep green, very healthy looking. But as you know, in Oklahoma, it's not very long until you soon have tomato foliage that looks like this. It has spots all over the foliage, turning pale and falling off. Now I wanna give you some tips on how to keep foliage that's nice and green like this and prevent problems such as this happening. First of all, tomatoes that are grown close to the soil line need to have a mulch put on them now. Now when we first plant tomatoes, we don't put mulch down because we want the soil to be nice and warm. We want the soil to have as much sun exposure as possible. Now that it's getting warmer though, you need to put down a mulch for two reasons. One, to keep the soil temperature moderated and also to prevent mud from splashing up on the foliage when we have rains. Down here is an example. On this leaf of better bush, we had a rain a few days ago and mud has splashed up on there. And it's very easy for disease to get started for that reason, so we need to mulch. Another tip for keeping the foliage up off the ground is to trellis the tomatoes, and we have started our first course of trellis on here and it's what we call the stake and weave method. We weave polyester twine in between T-posts and we'll put another strand of string about six inches above this one after we're through taping here today. Now down here, another thing I've done to prevent disease is to remove suckers. This is a small better bush variety plant and I've taken off the lower shoots that were coming down. I've taken off the first four, in fact, that were coming off of the stem. The remaining leaflets will get shaded out and fall off later in the season, and I'll have good air movement underneath the plant. And we'll be doing that on all of these and getting them up off of the soil. Now, if you're having problems such as these already, you may want to start spraying your tomato plants, and there are several commercially available fungicides that will protect against the various diseases that tomatoes get. And so far as leaf diseases, the three most common are early blight, which is also called alternaria, late blight, which is also called Phytophthora fungus, and then you can also get septoria leaf spot. All three of these can get started on the foliage. They're hard to tell apart unless you're trained in plant pathology, but fortunately, the same fungicides will take care of all three of these diseases. If you're seeing spotted foliage like this that has little tiny black spores in the center of the spots, hard to see, but if you can get close enough to see that, um, that will tip you off that it is a fungus disease that's getting started. Try to pull off the affected foliage. Once the disease gets started, you can't spray anything on this foliage to clear up the spots that are there. The best thing is to remove the affected foliage, keep clean plants and a clean area around them, and then keep a protective coating of, of fungicide on there. Now there are many of you who never spray your tomatoes and still get an adequate tomato crop, but this may keep them healthier on into the season if you've had a problem with that. Now a couple other early season tomato problems that I just wanna go over as you start harvesting tomatoes. Some of you have some that are just a few weeks away from harvest. One of them is blossom end rot. We get calls about this in our extension offices every year. This is the rot that's on the blossom end of the tomato. It starts out as a small black sunken area on the blossom end, or what some of you call the underside of the tomato. And then it coalesces and gets bigger. And once you harvest the tomato, the whole rot bottom part is rotten. There is no spray for that that can prevent it other than a calcium foliar spray in severe cases. It helps to have good even watering of the tomatoes and mulch the plant so that your soil doesn't go from wet to dry to wet again. Another early season problem on tomatoes is cat facing. And cat facing is merely misshapen fruit. It's perfectly safe to eat. It just means that at pollination time, not all of the flower did not get completely pollinated. And so not all the seeds are forming evenly inside the fruit. So consequently, the fruit is a little bit lopsided. It's perfectly harmless. If you're marketing fruit at the roadside, maybe it's not as marketable, but it'll certainly be tasty on your own table. Well, right now in tomatoes, not only do you need to mulch them and get them tied up, 
but it probably would be a good time to side dress them also with a good general fertilizer, or if they look pale, use a nitrogen fertilizer at no more than one tablespoon per plant and work it around the plant and work it into the soil, and that'll help keep them growing on through the season. Well, good luck with the tomatoes. I've got some tying up to do here, and then it'll be time to get some okra planted for this we summer's harvest. We hope you've harvest. enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.